Hello friends, it is Liam, it is Thursday, and this week's topic is trans people with physical slash mental disabilities. It is currently 10pm Thursday night, I do apologize for no video last week and a late video this week, but I really didn't want to miss this, so I'm getting up when I... So I'm getting it up when I can, and I just got home from work, and I still have to take a shower, so if you can't already tell, this is gonna be unedited. It's just gonna be one long string of word vomit, so I hope you are prepared for that. Do my eyeballs look as red right now as they do to me? My eyeballs are constantly red. I swear I don't do drugs, but they're just red all the time. I just don't know why this is happening. But on to the topic, yes. I am going to guess that the majority of you already know about my physical disability because I've mentioned it on here before. I do indeed have cerebral palsy, and I think I have explained it, but in case this is the first video that you're ever watching of me, first of all, I'm sorry. Second of all, I was born three months premature, and that resulted in a bleed in my brain, and when that bleed bled... When it happened, it took away bits and pieces of my brain that, like, helped control my motor skills uh, of the lower extremities. So, long story short, I just walk a little funny. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, my sisters also have cerebral palsy, but they're both in wheelchairs, so I am incredibly lucky that I'm able to walk at all. But my sisters are amazing, and they don't let that get to them. My oldest sister is a teacher, and she's married, and she's wonderful at her job, and she's wonderful at being a wife and a person in general. So hooray them. I love them. Um, yeah, but it's funny how my feelings towards my disability has changed, have, have changed grammar since transitioning. Um, because I feel like beforehand when I was obviously viewed as a female, people looked at me and they were like, oh, little damsel in distress, let me, let me run to your side and help you. Or they looked at me and they were like, you go girl, you be independent and you conquer the world even though you walk a little funny but now i feel like people look at me and they think oh he's weak he is less than he is tiny but not only is he tiny he walks a little funny so who's who's really gonna want to be with be with that little tiny man little tiny crippled man so, and I know that's just my anxiety. Like, I'm pretty positive that people don't actually think that way. But that's just what anxiety does. It just makes me assume the worst about others. Um, but yeah. It's, it is a thing that I deal with along with being trans. And it's not, it is not, I don't know. It's just how it is. It's how it's always been. Um, it sucks sometimes that I walk a little funny. I wish I walked like a normal person. Um, normal, whatever that is. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it's painful. Sometimes I trip over thin air a lot. But that also happens to people who have no trouble walking. So, um, it's just more likely to happen to me. I can't even, I, I can't even tell you how many times I tripped in school and like nearly killed myself. But, and also, when I get anxious, my legs, they they just tighten. And it makes it even harder to walk. So, I don't look funny. I look even funnier. Because I'm, I'm trying to force my body to move. And it doesn't want to. So, that's, that's probably when it's the toughest. Is when I get anxious and try to walk. And it doesn't work out the way that I want it to. But... That's really it for, for physical, but, I, excuse me, I just ate an egg and cheese sandwich, it was delicious. But, a lot of trans guys have come to me since being on this channel, and they're like, hey, I have cerebral palsy too. And I'm like, dude, that's awesome. I had no idea that there were so many trans guys in the world with cerebral palsy or any other type of physical disability. I think that's great. We should all meet up. We should have a group and be best friends. But, yeah, that, so that's awesome. The that has happened, but Kidok. Uh, Chase and Trenton talked about the more mental side of it, and I don't, can you consider anxiety and depression and all those things mental disabilities? Are they really mental disabilities? Or are they just like mental illness? I don't know. I don't like saying mental illness. That sounds not good. Um, 
but I don't know if you can really consider those disabilities, although they do feel quite disabling. Is that a word? Debil debil disabling sometimes? I don't know. It, they make it harder to live life, which, if that's how you want to define a disability, then there we go. But I don't really know. I don't want to get into that, but I don't really want to talk about my mental health either, because you guys already know that I deal with anxiety about everything in life, and I don't like to think about life or my future. I'm not even sure that I really want one. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so, I don't want to talk about that because I feel like these past weeks have been pretty heavy, and we've talked about that a lot, and I don't really want to bring the rest of you guys down again this week. I want it to be not as sad. Um, so... We'll just stop there, and I hope I haven't showed you where I work throughout this video. I probably have. I just had to delete another video because my little logo was showing, and it probably showed in this one. But if you can see it, please don't, please don't come and find me in my work because that would be really creepy. Don't do that. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're all having a good day slash week. And I will see you all next Thursday sooner than this. I promise. Okay? Okay. What was that little neck twitchy thing? Whoa. Oh god, look, I just showed it. <gasps> Bye. Oh, I painted my wall, you see. It's a it's red. Well it's supposed to be red, but it's actually burnt orange. But it's supposed to be red, but it's fine. It works. I film my videos in front of... I'm like pointing to the wall with my mouse, and I just realized that you cannot see where my mouse is going. You are smart. Okay, bye.